Life is interesting. One day you're an international scene sensation. You record a song using your brother's name and it becomes a number one hit in Canada and the US. And then 40 years later, that same brother saved your life. I still get emotional about oh, it. I bet. Because it's like my life was given back to me. Susan Jacks was born in Saskatoon. Her family moved to BC when she was nine. Even at that young age, Susan knew what she wanted to do. I just loved to sing. I would sing in the park, I'd sing in, in the house. All my brothers would tell me to shut up because they wanted to watch cartoons and I just never stopped singing. Susan became a big star in the 1970s, forming a band with Terry Jacks, whom she would marry, but divorce a few years later. Their band, the Poppy Family, had hits with songs like That's Where I Went Wrong and Where Evil Grows. But their biggest hit, which way you going, Billy? Can I go to? And it was called Which Way Going, Buddy. And it was sung from a, a friend of mine sang the demo, a guy a friend of mine. It was from a guy's perspective. And I didn't really like it that much because it sounded not right from a guy's perspective. I mean, what guy goes, which way going, buddy, can I go to? It was just, and all the girls my age would go, ew, what a loser, you know? Because <laughs> I was only 19 at that point. I have six brothers, and so we went through all my brothers' names. Just it's a good place to start, and and uh, which way going, Bruce? Didn't work, and and we got to Billy, and it was perfect. Which way you going, Billy? Sold two and a half million copies. But after years of performing and songwriting, in 2004, life suddenly took a drastic change. I was down in Nashville for quite a few years and I had a regular yearly checkup and, and they found protein in my urine and that's not normal. Uh, it's not always a terrible thing but they have to keep an eye on it. When I went to get a kind of a follow-up checkup up here, the doctor came in and said, so how long have you been in kidney failure? And I just, my throat, my heart was in my throat, my stomach was on the floor and I, ah. And uh, so over the course, that was in 2004 and over the course of the next Five years they kind of slowly went down. By 2010 Susan was in desperate need of a kidney transplant. I have six brothers and, and a sister and they all stepped up and Billy was the one that pounded the doors and just was on the phone constantly saying where am I to let me do the tests let me and as it turned out two of them were compatible but he was the best and uh, he was just amazing through it all. He's my hero. <laughs> Saved my life. Billy's doing great, same, doing the same things he's always done. Today, Susan devotes much of her time to the Kidney Foundation of Canada. And they were wonderful through this whole thing and so supportive and, and they do so much good work. She's about to embark on a benefit concert tour to promote the need for organ donations. Register, because it could mean someone's life and it's, uh, you couldn't give a more precious gift than that. The tour kicks off in Victoria on March 10th. In Victoria, I'm Dan Kahn for The Daily.